everybody, it's Steph from Adventure in a Backpack. Today I'm going to be changing the fuel filter in our 2007 Sprinter. If this is your first time to our channel, we travel around in our custom DIY camper van having as many adventures as possible. If that sounds like your kind of adventure, be sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell. Changing a fuel filter in a Sprinter is actually pretty straightforward. You just need some basic hand tools and everything is really easy, easily accessible. The first thing you need to do is remove the air box. Unclip the positive battery terminal and slide it up and off of the box. Disconnect the sensors. Remove the hose clamp and disconnect the hose. Pull up firmly on the front air box mounts and the air box hose. Now this entire unit just slides out and we can get it out of the way. Then remove the heat shield. And this exposes the fuel filter right on top. Okay, so we're going to remove the sensor. Now we're going to take these two bolts out. Now we're going to remove the fuel lines. Now we're gonna start pulling these fuel hoses off, so just have a rag on hand in case of any spills. Now we're going to remove this sensor. So we're going to twist this, and then just gently, gently, gently pry up on it. Now we're just going to loosen the housing for the fuel filter and remove the fuel filter. This is the old fuel filter. This is the new fuel filter. This one came with uh, two new gaskets, which will go on the uh, sensor. So we're ready to install the new one. Okay, so putting the new one back in is basically just the reverse of taking the old one out. So we're going to put it in the harness. And now would be a fantastic time to check out your fuel lines and make sure they're not too worn. We do have one that is worn out, so we're going to um, put this all back together and then we'll order that one and get that replaced. And put our hoses back on. Tighten up the fuel filter housing. And now we're going to put our sensor back in. And we have our two um, O-rings, one right here, one right here. So we're going to take those off. And now we'll install the new O-rings. Clip the wiring harness back into place. And put our bolts back into place. Tighten up our hose clamps. So that's that. Now we're going to put the heat shroud and the air box back on and we'll be good to go. This is a self-priming fuel filter. So in order to prime it, all you have to do is cycle the key to the on position for about 30 seconds once or twice, and then fire it up.
fantastic. All right, the last thing to do is to check for leaks. Um, and that's all there is to it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, bye-bye.